uh, in the Bellagio Casino and eating ice cream so that I can have an excuse to avoid the mask. And I guess wanted to give a bit of an update on, again, what it's like. I mean, I, I really understand how different it is for me to people who also have the social anxiety component. I don't have it. And so just being around people doesn't bother me. I mean, it helps that I'm in a place where people are so self-concerned that they're not going to pay the slightest bit of attention to me. Um, unless they think they can make money off me. Um, that happens quite a bit. But other than that, um, oh, it's a hand. It's not a curtain. Um, yeah, because I, I know, I, I usually make it a point to do something that scares me on these trips, and I haven't, to my knowledge, done that yet, and running out of time, I'm only here for another few hours, um, I don't know, I, I, I've had people say, that it's kind of like your true personality can come out because you're not so effective. I mean, I'm still having the thoughts. Uh, again, if anybody speaks to me, as far as I'm concerned, the only reason you really want to talk to me is uh, to get me to do something or to get money out. And I mean, that's probably valid. But if anybody just wanted to be nice, I would be like, what's up with that? Uh, I wouldn't believe it. Um, but as far as feeling judged, I still feel judged, but the amount of time that I ruminate about is much less. Um, you know, while I'm interacting with people, like for instance, people just walk by and they probably saw me and heard me talking and there was this huge, it's sort of like crushing feeling in the middle of my chest. Um, but then they were 10 feet down the carpet and it's gone. I just don't care. I mean, they didn't turn around as far as I could see, they didn't look at me. And it's gone. It doesn't. It doesn't stick around because there's no way that I'm going to ever see any of these people again. They're not going to see me. There it is again. I mean, it's literally. It feels like a crushing feeling in the middle of my chest because people are walking by and then it just goes. I'm trying to get a picture of my face and it does not work that way. Um. I don't know. Um, so that's continuing. I'm also running myself ragged and exhausted. Um, that helps. Um, if push comes to shove, I can get a hold of this is Las Vegas. I can go get a drink anywhere. And that would also stop the anxiety. Now I leave tonight to go back home for this very short trip um, and I'm kind of anxious about it and literally the closer I get to home I'm going to get more and more anxious and feel judged and worry about sort of am I being noticed by anybody and it's, the solution is not to keep moving because this is exhausting and draining. And actually that might be part of it. the reason why it's why it's much too tired to be bothered. I'm also following my list of all the things I'm doing, somehow I've done so far. 
everything on my list. Basically, I've got to catch a plane. That's the only thing left. Um, I'm getting everything done, but I'm like, my days are packed, and so I don't have time to stop and think about what I'm doing and when. Um, better have my excuse to not have a mask on again. So you're having dessert for me. Anyway, um, I don't know. It's it's more of the same. It's, you know, the actual traveling is quite a bit of doing. Um, I don't really like it. I don't like to fly. Uh, it takes a massive amount of time. It's exhausting. It's uncomfortable. It's miserable. It's expensive. Um, and then when I get someplace, then it's like all the, the things. I mean, I kind of wish I made video of um, the things I did yesterday. It was amazing. Mostly I took pictures. And um, but, but let me tell you, the hassle of getting here, the money. 100% worth it. I went to go see something called Meow Wolf, and I went to the Neon Museum, and each of those individually would have been worth the effort of coming on this trip. And then, like, both, I saw both of them, and then a few cherries on top. Um, like, in the Bellagio, there is a, um, let's see me again. Uh, there's a, a conservatory that they put up of, um, it's like, a flower display, but in massive. It's not just like this flowers. They take plants there. They actually make designs. Them. Really cool. Um, would that be worth a trip on its own? No. Let's see. Uh, I just really know the fact that you can't see me. Um, oh, next to me here, actually paying attention. So maybe I should wrap this up. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's a few other things on top of it, but. I thought these two things were amazing. People who've seen pictures and things said that it was a brain-busting, um, no, cacophony of sensation, let's put it that way. Uh, wild, absolutely crazy, bizarre. Um, completely loved it, and I found a, um, I found a, a sign I actually use it as the thumbnail for this video. I think that it should be the sign for all avoidance. I thought it was fantastic. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so the trip is doing what it's supposed to do, and hopefully it will last. Of course, again, I, get to, I mean, it's insane. My schedule, I'll fly in and have about 45 minutes before my COVID test appointment. Um, it's maybe um, half an hour, 45 minutes from my house to the airport. Um, and then I work at, at five o'clock. So it's like, land the plane, 45 minutes to my test, get the test done, they'll email me the results. I'll then go home, it's 45 minutes, and then 45 minutes after that, I'm straight back to work. Um, and it isn't a red-eye overnight flight. Again, I think that that helps, in a way, because I don't sleep anymore. Um, you know, am I sleeping more here? Not really, let's see. I think I slept about four hours, and then I was like, okay, forget it, I need to go back to sleep, because yesterday I walked. This is another issue in Las Vegas at the moment. Uh, they've actually got quite a few tourists back, but they do not have the people uh, staffing um, taxis, etc. Uh, I finally gave up and bought a bus pass, and let me tell you, you can get where you're going on a bus, way faster than taking a Lyft, Uber, or a cab. See, why would I ever think that there's anything wrong with me when there are people 
in bathrooms just walking around here. Oh, plus, of course, there's the showgirls on the street. Literally walking around 90% naked and having people take their picture and being paid for it. That's mm -hmm. job. Anyway, um, I will wrap this up, but that's the update. The update is it is working as it's exactly doing what it um, and I'm sure it's because they want the table. So, and I, I don't, I'm not sponsored. There we go. Anyway, um, yeah. I don't know why it works. I forgot my theories. But it works, and that's why I keep doing it, and that's why I'm sticking with it. And I encourage you, if you find something weird, like, for instance, for me, no idea why, but having a cup of coffee black calms my ruminating thoughts it, it can allow me to actively decide to stop them so that they're not taking over I don't understand how that works but I found it as a solution and so I will continue to do it and I'll do it sparingly um, sort of like, think of it as like an emergency inhaler instead of medication uh, that you take regularly for asthma. That's how, I don't drink coffee very often, and I do it when I need to. More people watching me. No, I'm not. Thank you. No.